start standing and bounce around a little bit. Move your hips, shake your shoulders, wiggle your toes, and then find some stillness with your feet parallel and about hip distance apart. Brown down through your feet evenly from right to left. Soften your chest and your shoulders and all of the muscles in your face. And take a few breaths before we get started. Now slowly rise up onto the balls of your feet and slowly lower back down. Keep strength through your ankles and avoid rolling to the outside or inside edges of your feet. On this next rise up, include your arms and bring them overhead in coordination with lifting up onto the balls of your feet. And as you lower down, bring your arms back down by your sides. Take another couple of those. If you'd like to incorporate your breathing pattern into this by inhaling on the way up and exhaling on the way down, or vice versa, you may. Now hold up on the balls of your feet, and as you lower down, bring your shoulders away from your ears, and vice versa. As you roll up onto the balls of your feet, lift your shoulders up by your ears. Dive forward now and bring your hands to touch the ground in front of you, and then lift back up. As you come overhead, keep your shoulders down, and dive down another time, tap the ground, and come back up, lift up, and then dive forward, tap the ground, and we'll transition to the same pattern, but this time in a squat. So squat down, bend your knees, tap the ground in front of you, and come back up to your balance on the balls of your feet with your arms overhead. Repeat this pattern another one or two times, and then hang out down in your squat position. Plant your hands on the ground, lift your hips, and then pedal out your feet. Just bend one knee and straighten the other, which you can't fully see on the screen. Just drive one knee back towards the wall behind you and let the other leg rest. As you rise back up with your arms overhead, settle your heels to the ground and take a counterbalance over onto your right leg. You can keep your arms overhead for more of a challenge or you can let them relax. Come back through center and switch to the other side. Dive over sideways over your left leg. Return back to center. Complete that one more time over on the right side. This time you have the option as you dive over to open up your arms to have one down toward the ground, and one up towards the ceiling. Come back through center and complete that same pattern on the left. As you dive over, you can change your arm position to reach broadly from 6 to 12 o'clock. Come back to one final counterbalance on the right-hand side. Take a shift and Bring your left leg back behind your right and completely transition your torso to the other side of the room. Keep your arms at 6 and 12. Come back up to balance. And we'll take that one final time on the left side. Dive over sideways. Open up your arms. And then transition your right leg back behind your left. Move your torso over to the other side of the room and keep your arms open to the floor and the ceiling. Transition back up through center. Let your arms relax down by your sides and then ground yourself by rolling up onto the balls of your feet and back down to the floor. Once you feel grounded and settled, you can shake out, get out any wiggles, just like we did at the beginning, and we'll end here in a standing position, feeling strong and balanced 
and ready to transition from this movement practice to the rest of your day. Take some slow inhales and exhales to calm your nervous system after a lot of balancing, and maybe some falling. Just be still and breathe. 